I'm currently on high speed internet in the middle of nowhere. So if you like speeds up to 200 megs per second, uh, unlimited, unthrottled internet, seven day money back guarantee, no contracts, no credit checks, I sound like a game show host here, then the Nomad Air might be a great solution for you. Let's do internet speed test. I, need, I haven't oh. thought about doing that. Run speed test. That is rocking right there. That is jetting. Hmm. Yeah. 8, 9, 10, 13, 14 on upload. That is extremely better than my mother and father-in-law's house trying to upload there. Oh. Nomad Air modem is pre-configured and activated. The directions for setting up the modem were almost laughably simple. Step one, take the modem out of the box and plug it in. Step two, wait while your Nomad Air locks on to the best signal in your area. Once the LED indicator light turns green or blue, enter the Wi-Fi password and connect your devices. That is basically it. From that point on, you can carry the entire setup in the handy backpack carry case that comes with it. And when you're ready to use it, simply plug the modem into the battery and you're good to go. It's William. And Robin. With the Riverstone Life. And we're in rural Alaska. Alaska. We're in unlimited. The best part about the Nomad, I think, is how easy it is. You plug it in. I don't care where you're at, within five minutes. It works. It works. Now in the Jeep, we have a regular plug-in in the Jeep. <laughs> we do. <laughs> and I have it Velcroed in the mirror. So we're driving down we're, the road. We're those people. Yeah, and when we're, we, we're and we, internet we, we're, Yeah, we're in an edge. Rob, we're, we're always uh -huh. traveling. Uh -huh. And she's always Googling things. If you're unfamiliar with us, my name's Chase. And I'm Maria Jose. And all jokes aside, we live in the absolute middle of nowhere. Super awesome. It comes with a bag, which I'm all in <laughs> with bags. A really, really, really large 60,000 milliamp portable battery and all the cables to plug directly into the Nomad Air modem. So the Nomad device is a pretty simple device. It's a modem with a built-in router to it. So you can connect up to 30 people to it. 10 people can simultaneously stream. So just like all service carriers out there, you're gonna have a setup charge. Now Nomad's charge ranges between $99 and $400, depending on the modem that you buy and the services that you're trying to set up and the current discounts that they have to offer. He tests with the Nomad internet now. Right now we're in my studio. There's a lot of electronics and lights around me and wireless signals. Run the test and see what we get. So it looks like it jumped up to 300 and then throttles down to about 200. We should be expecting 200 megabits per second. And in the studio, we are getting 18 to 20 megabits per second. Um, my basic cellular reception has not been reliable enough to connect up with you guys in that manner. But Nomad Internet is going to allow me to be able to go live more often. It's going to allow me to upload in areas where I previously haven't been able to. Now, I want to make sure... Oh, hey guys. Welcome back to Drifting Dreamers 5. As you can see, I'm sitting out here on the computer today. Got the fire in the background rolling because, well, we can do that out here in the country. As most of you all know, we live in the mountains of Arkansas. And it's not always easy. The first thing I want to say about this internet is that it's lightweight, it's portable, and there's no cords that you have to worry about. At our location here, we are getting about 150 megabits down and 25 to 30 megabits up, which is pretty, pretty good service as far as we're concerned. And they also have a couple of community programs which you can take a look at, and some of those even make it so you could get them down to having your service for free. Have you ever found yourself kind of out on the fringes of modern society where the Wi-Fi towers have kind of petered out, you're not getting good signal on your phone, and you still want to be connected to the world? Well, let me introduce you to Nomad. This is a portable system that can keep you connected to the internet even when cell signals are very low, possibly even non-existent. This is a system that can help you out when you are at a campsite, in an RV, live in the van life, or even if you're just out in a rural area where quality internet has not been provided. 
Nomad exists to serve the underserved, those people that live out in areas where it just isn't worth it for some of the bigger cable or internet companies to provide good service. Um, my basic cellular reception has not been reliable enough to connect up with you guys in that manner. But Nomad Internet is going to allow me to be able to go live more often. It's going to allow me to upload in areas where I previously haven't been able to. Now, I want to make So the Nomad device is a pretty simple device. It's a modem with a built-in router to it. So you can connect up to 30 people to it. 10 people can simultaneously stream. So just like all service carriers out there, you're gonna have a setup charge. Now Nomad's charge ranges between $99 and $400, depending on the modem that you buy and the services that you're trying to set up and the current discounts that they have to offer. They got it, bro, I'm not only out on the water, but I am calling you via Wi-Fi only, no cell service. Where are you? I, well, I'm in Longboat Key right now in a, in a cell restricted area where I can't call from and I'm and I'm using nomad internet services. It's Wi-Fi no matter where you go. So it's running off of a satellite or something? This thing does not need cell service to work. Could you believe it? Wow, that's freaking epic, dude. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jessica, one of the founders of Nomad Internet. We hope you enjoyed these real life videos of real people using our Nomad Internet hotspot in the craziest of places. If you want to join the adventure and have a great internet connection virtually anywhere in the US, please scan the Nomad Beacon, which I will display in 10 more seconds. So get your phone out and ready. So here's how it will work. Once you scan the Nomad Beacon, Follow the prompts and get one sent to your home or pick one up same day from your nearest Nomad Internet Smart Hub. I'm going to now display the long-awaited Nomad Beacon and we welcome you to the Nomad family. And yes, folks, Nomad works in Kauai, Hawaii. Check out that view, and the service is excellent, like always. Well, and we're going to do a video about, yes, folks, Nomad Internet. We've used it for seven and a half months. We have. 25 different states. Crazy, yes. <laughs> 20 of those was with the fifth wheel. Crazy, yes. Yep, fifth wheel. I'm in the bathroom and I am <laughs> hanging in the shower with it up by the uh, skylight trying to get it well, before we got the uh, Nomad. Yeah, <laughs> so, that was torture. So this was $500, folks. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. The best part about the Nomad, I think, is how easy it is. You plug it in. I don't care where you're at. Within five minutes, it works. It works. Now in the Jeep, we have a regular plug-in in the Jeep. <laughs> we do. <laughs> and I have it Velcroed in the mirror. So we're driving down we're, the road. We're those people. Yeah, and when we're, we, we're and internet. We, we're, yeah, we're internet. And I we're like on, internet. And we're I don't in care who gives me the internet as long as it works and it's a reasonable price. One hundred twenty-nine dollars a month we pay. Yeah. One twenty-nine. And we've paid it every month for the last seven months. We got a new one coming up. Oh. Hot spots out again. Oh, I'm getting sick of this. We gotta do something different. Okay, so since we're a full-time family on the road, one of the ways we still get packages on the road is by making use of UPS access points. Here we have our package from Nomad Internet. All right, so let's get this whole thing out of here because this is the travel box, and the little bag. And of course, we also have the instructions that come with it. Here it is. This is the modem right here. On the back, you've got an ethernet port. You've got your power port. Looks like the SIM card slots. It's got one in it. Uh, looks like it's got a slot that they could actually run two off of. We'll see how things change out which you'll see those results here in a moment. Okay, so all the ones that show Wi-Fi is only through the Nomad Internet. I've been doing the van life, bus life thing on and off for the last 
four years. I've been posting videos online pretty consistently throughout that period and needing wireless internet access has always been a big struggle for me. Usually I have just used my Verizon iPhone hotspot. The problem is Verizon service is not everywhere and also it gets really, really slow. And when you need to update big files, it becomes a problem. And finally, I have found a solution to help me out with that problem. I'm gonna tell you about it right now. This is the modem I have. It is called the Air. I just plug it in. It'll take a few minutes sometimes to find a tower and then this will just start flashing blue, which means we are live and connected. I'm a huge fan of presentation. When it arrived, it came in this little cute backpack and this just slides right in there. So it's easy to store and carry around and do whatever you need to do with this one. And it's something I'm going to use all of the time. And it's amazing when I'm driving through the middle of nowhere and I don't have service on my phone, but I have the Wi-Fi on, stream on Spotify, listen to podcasts, whatever. I'm just connected at all times and out there and just want better connection. Definitely check. They got a bro. I'm not only on the water, but I am calling you via Wi-Fi only, no cell service. Where are you? I well, I'm in Longboat Key right now in a in a cell restricted area, where I can't call from, and I'm and I'm using Nomad Internet services. It's Wi-Fi, no matter where you go. So it's running off of a satellite or something? This thing does not need cell service to work. Could you believe it? Wow, that's freaking epic, dude. I couldn't believe it how simple it was. It's literally a battery pack, a modem, some basic plugs to charge it, and then the, inter the internet information you need. Right here it has a SIM card in it. These are the cards that tell you your network password. Once I got to setting it up, I realized that I actually didn't even need to take this thing out of the backpack, but I started setting it up so I figured let's just get it done and I logged in using the provided information and next thing I knew I was surfing the internet. So far I'm really impressed with how easy this is. It's so user friendly to get surfing right away. My name's Chase. And I'm Maria Jose. And all jokes aside, we live in the absolute middle of nowhere. Isla, our daughter, just turned one. And we had tons of family and friends coming and visiting. And because we live in the middle of nowhere, they didn't have any service. So they needed to communicate or post pictures or whatever it was. And that's what Nomad came hand. We just plugged it into the wall, set the modem up at a window, and we were literally covering the house, the backyard, yep. everyone in their campers. Pretty awesome. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Let's go ahead and try the Nomad. Let's get the bear. And uh, wow. Yeah, massive, massive difference. Look at this. It's just crushing it. Just to show you that I am still on the Nomad internet. That's the Nomad internet. It's now doing the upload speeds. It's twice as fast on the upload speeds. Uh, I mean, just crushed the download speeds. So yeah, the FX2000 is the Nomad. That's this guy right here. And, um, don't need this pop-up window. Yeah, crushing the download speeds and upload speed. Speed test. So we're gonna do the Google speed test here. Run speed test. And there we go. Now this is a very old phone. It's not exactly a fast phone. So it's doing pretty darn good at 70, 68, and then upload 23, 24. Doing pretty good. All in all, pretty darn impressive, I gotta say. I'm a huge fan of presentation. When it arrived, it came in this little cute backpack and this just slides right in there. So it's easy to store and carry around and do whatever you need to do with this one. They do make a couple different styles of modems. The one I have is called the Air. And the beautiful part about this one is that I can travel with it. So I'm gonna cancel my Wi-Fi back home at my apartment and then just bring this one in the van when I'm traveling or keep it in my apartment when I am not traveling. 